Hey everyone. Okay, it is Friday. I'm trying to scooch it in. Let's see. So we are going to use Pink Paisley's Horizon. I'm so excited. I love this layout. It came out so cute. I'm still coughing, so I may end up choking every once in a while, but sorry. <laughs> it's not going away. And yeah. So my husband has been working. He might get mandatory tomorrow. And if he gets mandatory tomorrow, that means he will have been at work for 24 hours for seven days. <laughs> so uh, next week cannot can't come fast enough because we're leaving town. So hopefully that will happen. Um, but in the meantime, in this seven days, he has had so many fires. And um, they had a wildland fire the other day that lasted about eight hours, and he he sucked in all that all that uh, bad smoke, and now he he has a cough. He, well, he never got rid of the cough because they keep having wildland fires and structure fires, and then so they inhale all that stuff. And then isn't it cute already? I love it already. Let's get started. So the um so. He can't get better because he keeps inhaling this stuff. And so right now, he sounds like a sea lion. And it's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, dude, <laughs> you sound like a lion. And so sea lion, and he's just like, <laughs> he doesn't, I don't know, guys. I really don't, I don't know when he's going to get better. But I'm hoping he doesn't give it back to me because I don't want it in anymore. I like to go see my dad. And then he found out today his, his dad is not doing very well. So he's at work just fretting because, you know, he hasn't really seen his parents in a long time. And they live down the street. And, um, yeah. And so he hasn't seen them. So now he's, he's worried about his dad. And his dad's um, just not doing so well. So they went to the doctor today and... So we'll see how that goes. And then my dad is still being a brat, so Cheyenne's frustrated. And it's so funny because Cheyenne's frustrated. And I told her, I go, how's it like to be a parent? I'm like, <laughs> so she goes, oh my God, it's so frustrating. <laughs> She's all, but my kids would, would eat what I tell them to eat. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, sure. So... <laughs> So anyway, so that's, that's what's going on with them. And so I'm <laughs> just over here laughing. Cause, and then my mom calls me and she's laughing, you know, cackling. Because they went to the store, and um, all three of them, before my dad's doctor's appointment. And he's only allowed to drink decaf coffee. Well, he's always been a coffee drinker. And, um, and to, have, to be told you can only have decaf, he's fretting about it. And so Cheyenne, she's already frustrated with him because... He decided he wanted to, the doctors, you know, you get, it's like everything else, right? You, you call one person and you get one answer. Then you call back and you get a different answer. And it's like so frustrating because you're like, does anyone know what they're talking about? I mean, you, you can't trust anyone because do they really know what they're talking about? So he has his heart doctors telling him he can't have this, can't have that. He goes and sees the nutritionist and she says, well, you can have this and you can have that. And Cheyenne's like, no, the doc, the heart doctor said no. And so she's all, well, you know, and I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. So I don't know. I just, I'm, I, I don't know how to help either. I haven't seen my parents because of this sickness and I'm, I'm, I'm ready just to go over there, but it's just not happening yet. So when we get back from our little getaway, then um, hopefully we'll go see my dad. I'm kind of scared to see him though, but he because he's lost a few pounds, and I'm like, I don't want to see a skinny dad. Well, I mean, we need we need to see a skinny dad, but it's just you know, it's just you get used to seeing someone the way they are, and then they get sick, and you don't want to have that sickly, you know, memory in your head. So I'm like, ah, so I don't know. So I'm kind of I'm nervous about it. So I'm nervous about seeing him. So that too so we'll see but yeah i didn't like my writing but i didn't have another tag and i was like yeah it's okay so i didn't but i didn't like my writing and i was like you know you don't like your writing and then to make it bigger <laughs> i was like, not your smartest move look at isn't that cute i added the little i added the little let me show you 
the focus yeah I added the button to the gold to the gold bowl and I love it <laughs> so that's gonna go on the outer because all the things that are bigger like this they go on the outer um, uh, of my page on my page protector so and then we went to Erin Condren uh, store in uh, Hawthorne which uh, uh, I'm like it, everywhere in LA okay check this out Erin Condren if you know she's the planner she's a planner lady and that's what I use for my planner is the Erin Condren and I'm like so does Cheyenne and uh, I everywhere in LA and that you could possibly open a store and she opens it in Hawthorne and I'm like are, are you packing honey because <laughs> I'm like where in the world are we going hold on <coughs> so I'm, I'm like oh my gosh and then it's just it's like in a warehouse it's not it's I don't know <sighs> but she's opening another one I think in Oh gosh, I think it was started with the V. I can't remember exactly. Um, is it a V? Uh, well, I know it's in LA, but, and I think it's in a better section of LA, but I'm like, how in the world did you find this place <laughs> to begin with? And I, I don't know, guys. I'm, I mean, you have, it's such an industrial area that you have the next door people have like forklifts and stuff. And I'm like, out of everywhere in LA seriously everywhere in LA you that you could go and this is where she opens up her store and I'm like it's so weird <laughs> really weird but yeah so but we went there and we walked in and then uh, I knew that she had an area where um, my husband could sit down because he went in with me and uh, so he he sat down in the chairs and <laughs> he was uh, he was uh, um, just watching his phone you know watching YouTube on his phone and and then uh it was cute because one of the employees went up to him and said are you okay would you like some water <laughs> he thought no I'm good and so it was just cute because it was you know they they take care of everybody I guess <laughs> so it was really neat so okay so that site is done this might be a fast layout you guys because I loved it but I went and then look okay here's a picture of me for me for once that's me and the hubs see we what I did was I surprised when we went to LA <laughs> I surprised my husband and I said um, I, I can't keep secrets from him because I really like him ex I like him excited and at the time you know when we went to LA my my dad had his heart attack all that kind of stuff and just stressed out and you know he's been at work so much and so I couldn't I didn't want to keep it too much of a secret so I lasted I think I think I lasted mm, six hours <laughs> before telling him, and uh, and uh, what I did is I surprised him for Father's Day because I told him I was all, you know, even if our kids think we did a cruddy job with them, I was all, hey, we did the best we could, so we'll buy each other gifts. <laughs> so I bought him a Father's Day gift, and um, and so um, I got him. We've done it before where we've taken the walk. In Walt's footsteps tour at Disneyland and it you know it's fun and but the last the first time we did it the last time we did it um, we got to see the dream suite and so um, we we got to go in there so so far it's I told Tim I was all we have been we have been experiencing a life and we have been so grateful because we have been experiencing a good life I mean we saw the dream suite we we went we've had dinner at club 33 and then this walk in Walt's footsteps i ended up buying it for him the tour because it was actually in Walt's apartment you know the one above the fire station the one he stayed in for a long time and so um i and i just thought that was the perfect gift gift because when i first got the walk in Walt's footsteps the first time we did the tour um they they said they weren't going to do the walk, walk in, in his apartment and so i thought i missed out you know because they did it for many years but we couldn't afford it and um you know to you, with with disneyland you have to pay full price for for your kids 
so there's no like kids discounts there might be for the tour but I'm not sure but we could never afford it so it's not like you know we could just do that so I thought we missed out and I thought oh man you know that sucks so when I saw on the um the Disneyland's um Facebook page or the the Disney annual pass holders Facebook page they showed a picture of them doing the tour and it was in Walt's apartment I thought oh my gosh it's back and I'm like okay let's do it so that's why I ended up getting it and Tim was so it was like the best thing ever to have him smile and be so jazzed because the kids well Cheyenne and I um because Cordell you know he just he doesn't care but our love of Disney um, came from him. He's the one who introduced the love of Disney to both of us. And, um, you know, because he used to go a lot when he was younger. And so, not with his family, but I guess when he was a young adult, I should say. And because uh, he, he's only four years older than I am. Let me see. Uh, yeah, he's about three and a half years older than me. And um, so... Uh, he, he went before we met and so but this is this is Walt's apartment and th this is our hands so that's our hands right here you won't be able to see it it's so dark and I can't I don't know I need to send it off to an editor and get it lightened up or something but um so it's on here Walt Disney's apartment so this is going to be one of those like tippins <laughs> the tan word I guess and um and then I thought well I like this picture so I said you know what I'm just going to do it because I told him I said we'll do regular pictures that way we have it for our mementos but we won't you know show anybody we won't do any of that and then when I saw that our hands are so dark and you couldn't see it and everything else I thought okay well let me look at the regular pictures we took of both of us and it actually came out really good and I was like okay let me just do it and so I did it <laughs> so that's there's me there's me in there so and we actually took uh, pictures together so it worked out um but anyway so he was he's like, oh my god when we got to the apartment his smile and his he's on like, my heart's racing it was super cute because he's on like, my heart's racing he's all I'm gonna choke <coughs> he's all I thought we were gonna have like a barrier like they would just let us poke our heads in but we were actually walking and we were you know looking at all his stuff in person and he was so jazzed and it would just it you know it made my heart so happy that I could do this you know for him as far as well I mean that he you know he's he's doing it for all for both of us but I mean just the fact that you know it ended up happening we could afford it we did it and it, it was so his face was so priceless that it, it was just awesome and I couldn't I couldn't tell you how much that just meant to me to know that you know it was just a, a great decision so let me put this down so yeah so <laughs> he had a great time and he was just like that's just the best ever so he had a great time and uh this thing is moving hold on let me see that's buzz by the way and uh yeah so i'm so glad i'm i'm glad it worked out and it was super fun and then of course we went to the aaron condren store and that was fun for me and so we had a little bit of an adventure so it was cool and then uh yeah, so worth it, you guys. It's like a three-hour tour. They give you um, they give you lunch, and um, you get to go on three rides. Well, two two rides. We got to go on the train. <laughs> that they consider that a ride. I'm like, okay. And then we got to go on teacups, and um, and so that was that was cool too. So <laughs> we got to you know go in front of the line. And that was fun. So, and then of course you got the lunch, and then the walk in you know, to walk into his apartment. So, it's just neat because you know we've we've always, you know, we always look when you go by and you see this, you know, his his light that's always on, and um, and in memory of him, and to know that we actually you know we're next to it was really cool. So I'm so glad we did it and. It was awesome. It was so awesome. I'm glad he had a good time. So, yeah. And then, um, okay, so let me say, because I, I'm just going to do the title card and that's it. Kai's mom, thank you. Lori Annie 670. 
<laughs> but hi, <laughs> hi, and uh, Karen Haynes and Liz Youngkin, and I guess, okay, I think it was, who was it? Was it you, Liz? I think it was you, Liz, who asked me about how long it takes me to do a layout, and uh, it takes me about 10 hours total to do a layout to figure out what I want, and it's it does take me a long time because it's it's my it's my fun time you know it's it's where I don't have to stress about anything uh, I just I, I, I it's my Zen my Zen and the reason I know every embellishment I have which helps me because I know everything that I own like I can go on Tuesday morning and I know exactly what I don't own and what I do own and um, because I sift through all my stuff every time I do a layout I go through every single uh, uh, bin that I own and that is how come I know what I have so it, it works for me it does and uh, I just it's, it's so relaxing for me and I just I don't worry about getting it done or anything else I it, it's just my time and I love it and um, I couldn't imagine doing it any other way and that's why um, that's how I keep track because I'm, if you're constantly touching stuff you know what you have right so that's what it is I constantly see it every every time I I do project life I see my stuff so yeah I love it <laughs> so and then um, um, yeah so about 10 hours and I look through all my stuff it's so cool I love it so I love, I love, I love buying stuff and using it. And you guys know that already by now that I do. I absolutely love using all my stuff. I don't, uh, and then whatever I don't use, that's what's also awesome about discovering the traveler's notebooks. Because whatever I don't, whatever I don't use for my project life, I use in my TN. And then making the embellishment clusters, the, that's fun. So and you can look at my Instagram for that to see what I've done with those embellishment clusters. They are super fun. So I use it and I love it so much. I love this title card. <laughs> this title card made me so happy. Look at how cute that is, right? I'll pick it up for you. But the week is not um, adhered down that well yet. But isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. <laughs> so <laughs> I love how this whole layout came out, made me so happy. I, I just thought it was fun. I love the colors. It's not traditional um, Disney Disneyland uh, or Disney colors. Um, yeah, I just thought this was perfect. All the colors, the the uh, teacups, the matched like the horizon, and yeah, it just worked for me. So I loved it. All right, guys. So I think that was it. Big hugs big loves uh i won't see you for about a week and a half, oh, probably a week and a half yeah probably a week and a half because uh i won't yeah i won't be back until then we leave tuesday night and we won't be back till friday and then we don't get back till friday afternoon so yeah so i won't be back to, for a little bit but you guys take care have a great week i will miss you all and thank you for your comments big hugs big loves see ya